Hi guys, welcome to Caternix Corner. My name's Terry, and today I'm coming to you from my back office. Um, it's a room that we renovated in the house here uh, to use for the Caternix Corner YouTube channel. Uh, basically what I'll do, be doing here is all my editing work and uh, filming some videos and whatnot. Um, in today's video, I wanted to uh, discuss with you um, the issue of having eggs that only partially develop during incubation and then the eggs for whatever reason die. Um, one of the biggest things that you can do to determine, you know, possibly determine why the egg failed to incubate or failed to develop all the way is to basically do a necropsy on the egg and find out what stage of development it was in um, when the egg stopped developing. Um, this information can kind of give you an idea of where in the incubation process um, things went wrong, whether it was the egg itself or an issue with the incubator or humidity, temperature levels, stuff like that. So what I did was over the period of the past uh, three weeks, I incubated some eggs and I took egg samples out and I opened the egg and showed the point of development of that particular egg and basically made a, a chart of photos with each of the individual levels of development. That way you've kind of got something that you can refer back to um, because during the incubation process the chick normally only goes to a certain point of development so you can pretty much nail it down within a day or two. Um, so I thought this would be kind of handy. Now I know some people are going to say um, why did you basically kill a developing egg and the only reason I did it was for this video and so that you guys would have something that you could refer to um, if you should have the same problem during uh, incubation. So let's go ahead and I'll roll that, uh, that quick little segment that's only about a minute and a half long and then we'll come back and discuss a little bit more. On day zero, the germinal disc is visible. On day one of incubation, blood vessels begin developing. On day two, expanded blood vessel development and the beginning of embryonic development. On day three, embryonic development continues and the head and body are visible. Limb buds begin to develop. On day four, embryonic growth continues and triples in size. Day five, you can see the formation of the beak. On day six, wing and leg development begins. Day seven, beak starts to emerge and the formation of the eyelids begin. Day eight, the eyes, wings, and leg development continue. Day nine, pigmented feather germs are present. Day 10, more feather germs and toenails start to grow. Day 11, the eyelids are fully formed and downy feathers are present. Day 12, downy feathers begin to cover the entire embryo. Day 13, pigmentation is visible on the toes. Day 14, the toenails are fully formed. Day 15, the chick is almost fully formed, breaks the inner membrane and breathes air for the first time. On day 16, the chick chips a hole in the eggshell known as pipping. On day 17, hatching begins and the chick emerges from the egg. Okay, so hopefully that slideshow will give you a little better insight into the uh, developmental stages of the embryo during the incubation process and also give you something to refer to should you have an egg that uh, doesn't fully develop and hatch out uh, to at least figure out about what um, stage the egg was in when it stopped developing and hopefully help you pinpoint the reason that it stopped developing whether it was an issue with your incubator or temperatures humidity levels um, whatever so guys i hope you found this video uh, useful uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel please do so it helps me out, and you'll get notified of any new and upcoming videos. I want to say thanks for joining me today, and we will see you on the next one.